so you're wanting custom game art covers like the ones above and you're not sure what to do stay locked into the video to find out how to create them and how to set them on your Nintendo Switch console <laughs> what's going on people as you can see from the previous clips what we're going to be looking at today is how to make custom game art covers on 18.0 for your nintendo switch console so this was requested by a person in my youtube comments on the mario kart 8 skin mods video so if i go onto that now and scroll down as you can see here we've got at Louis underscore RG who's asked amazing video will you do a tutorial on custom game icons on 18.0 so that's what we're going to be looking at today so the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to connect your modified Nintendo switch to the computer and you're going to need to install a program or homebrew program called SysTweak. so to do this what you want to do like i just said is hook up your nintendo switch console to the pc it's up to you guys how you want to do it but get that hooked up and what we're going to do is we're going to install this so i have got my switch connected to the pc at the moment so if i go into file explorer and head down to switch as you can see here is my sd card so then what you want to going to do is you're going to want to head over to the atmosphere folder and you're going to want to head over to contents you'll then want to open up this SysTweak folder which i will leave in the video description so you guys can download it and what you want to do is go ahead and open this up once it's open you want to go into the atmosphere folder you want to go into the contents folder on your sd card you want to make sure you're in this corresponding folder so atmosphere contents and then you just want to go ahead and drag this folder across Obviously, I've already got this installed, but I'm just going to replace the files for the following purpose of the video. So I'm going to hit replace now, and that's going to install SysTweak to the console. Once you've got SysTweak installed, what we're going to want to do then is make some of these custom um, game covers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, like a speed art type thing in Photoshop of me making the custom game covers. I'll make one for a game that I had already made one for. And then what I'll do is I'll show you guys how to apply it to your console. So just before I start doing this little speed art video, I want to explain to you guys something about the icons. So if I open my icons here, as you can see, these are all the custom game art icons that I've made so far. So if I go onto one of these icons, right click and show more options and go to properties. As you can see here, the file is 47.1 kilobytes. Now, you need to keep the icon files under 100 kilobytes if it goes over 100 kilobytes it doesn't like to display on the switch console so you do need to keep the files under 100 kilobytes i'm also going to head over to details and as you can see here these are the dimensions of the icons so the width needs to be 256 and the height needs to be 256 and i have the pixels depth set at 72. so if i was using photoshop for this I'll just close out of this for now and open Photoshop and let it load. Once it's loaded, I'd go to File, New. I would set the width to 256, the height to 256, resolution 72, color modes RGB color, and the background contents is transparent. And then I'd just go ahead and click OK, and I would make my icon in this here. So what I'm going to do now is close out this for two minutes and what I'm going to show you guys is if you're grabbing image files from the internet and you're wanting to resize them within Windows, if you head over, to, if I head over to my icon, sorry, and open one of these up, what I can do is obviously this is 256 by 256 anyway, but if you've got a bigger image, what you could do is right click and this should be an option somewhere that says resize image as you can see here and what you could do is press on that and change it to 256 by 256 so yeah guys that's about it what i'm going to do now is head over and do the speed art and i'll catch you guys after where i show you how to apply these to the console
So guys, before we start putting the custom game art icons onto our Nintendo Switch, there's a couple of things that you want to take note of. So first of all, what I'm going to do is head over to the um, group section here where it's grouped all my games. And I'm just going to start with the game San Andreas because this is the icon I'm wanting to change. So I'm quickly going to start that up. And then all I'm going to do is go ahead and press the home button and... Kill the game by closing it just so that way it's on the main dashboard of the nintendo switch console so the things you're going to want to take note of is the following if you go ahead and press the plus button on the actual game itself you can see at the top you've got the version number which is 1.07 and you've also got the creator which is obviously rockstar games and then you've got the game title which is grand theft auto san andreas the definitive edition so these are three things that you want to take note of and then what we'll want to do is we'll want to pop back onto the computer so i'll go over to the computer now and i'm going to show you what to do next so we're now back over on the computer and we're going to get ready to um, set this custom icon so for every custom icon that you set you're going to need this file here which is the config.ini again i'll leave this in the video description for you guys to download so what we're going to do is just give this an open now and i'll show you guys what to do so as you can see here you've got name so this will be the title of the game as you saw previously you've got the author which was obviously rockstar games and then you've got the version so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the version to 1.0.7 the author, I'm obviously going to put Rockstar Games. And then for the name, I'm just going to shorten this. So I'm going to put GTA and then San Andreas, the Definitive Edition. Now, you guys don't have to type the exact same thing in. You can put whatever you want. So, for the author, you could put your name. For the version, you could put custom firmware, for example. Just know that it is limited to what it were already set at. So, for example, you've got 1.0.7. So, you've got three numbers there and then uh, two points. So, that limits it to five characters altogether. So, if you go over this, basically, it just won't display properly. So, what we're going to do now is go ahead and press Control s to save. And that config.ini is now set. So the next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get the title ID of GTA San Andreas. Now there is two ways to do this and I'm going to show you how to do both. So for the first option, what we're going to do is nip back onto the Switch console and we're going to get the um, title ID from the console. So bear with me while I switch over. So guys, once we're back over on the Switch, to grab the game's title ID, what you want to do is first of all, load up Tinfoil. And you just want to go ahead and let it load. Which mine might take a few minutes, I apologise. There we go, it's loaded. What I'm going to do quickly though is just go to the home and reload it again because the text hasn't loaded correctly. This sometimes happens and it bugs out, but as you can see, if you restart it, it just loads it again properly so once it's loaded what you'll want to do then is uh wait on tinfoil you want to plug a usb c cable into your nintendo switch console and then go back to your computer and we're gonna i'm gonna show you sorry how to grab the title id for your specific game So once you're back over on the PC and you've got your switch in tinfoil and you've got a USB-C cable plugged into your computer and into your switch, you should get a pop-up what looks like this. So what you want to do is go ahead and head over to the uh, drive here which says installed. And once you go in here, you should see all of your games. What I'm going to do now is obviously look for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and what i'm going to do is go ahead and press rename on it and as you can see here you've got the title id of the actual game so what i'm going to do now is just go ahead and copy and paste this for future so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you the alternative method what you can use so if i close out of this and head over to google chrome and go to tinfoil.io and to wait for the website to load as you can see here, we've got the Tim Fowl website. 
if you go ahead and go over to titles and you've got a search bar here what you want to do is type in grand theft auto for example or you'll need to type in the title of your game so if i type in grand theft auto hopefully it'll load and show me some results if it doesn't um we'll try gta and for some reason it is not coming up ah there we go it just took a while to load so there we go grand theft as you can see we've got grand theft auto san andreas the definitive edition and you've got the title id marked here which is the exact same title id as what i've just copied from the nintendo switch drive so yeah that's just the two methods that you can use to grab the title id of the game so what we're going to do now is get on to actually putting this custom icon onto the switch console <laughs> so we're now on the final piece of the puzzle so to speak so what you're going to want to do is you want to hook your switch up to the computer so you can either do this by ejecting the sd card and plug it into your pc that way or you can boot hecate go into tools usb tools press sd card and obviously plug a usb c cable into your computer so once you've got your switch up like so you want to navigate to atmosphere content and you want to go ahead and right click and press show more options new and new folder then what you'll want to do is you want to grab that title id for your game copy it obviously rename the folder and paste that into there and press enter now you might get this message saying that the directory already exists not to worry that's not a problem you just want to go ahead and press no here and delete that folder and then you want to look down your list and find the following corresponding game title id so this is 2400 so if we look down here as you can see there 2400 and we're going to open this up then what you'll want to do is drag the config.ini over and your image you have created once you drag this image over guys you need to make sure it is renamed to icon.jpg because if it is named anything else it will not work so make sure that um game art that you've uh, created sorry is called icon.jpg and obviously if you go and create a new folder and you paste your title id in there and press enter and it creates the new folder again the same process just grab these two files and drag them into that folder and you will be ready to go so we've done this now we're ready to go back onto the switch and check if this works so we're just going to close out of this and go to the bottom right hand corner on the computer go to the usb and go to eject ums to disconnect the switch and what I'm going to do now is load it up and we're going to check if this has worked. So guys, as you can see, we're now back over on the Nintendo Switch console after putting the icon file on. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and unlock the Switch. And as you can see now, we've got San Andreas here and it's got a nice custom game icon. So yeah, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. If this has helped in any way, shape or form, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.